I think mid January and uh, February are good times to see uh, what your financial resolutions are uh, or financial goals are. Right? This whole book on um, you can be rich too with goal based investing is about goal setting. And unfortunately or fortunately, uh, we do not spend enough time with our financial advisors articulating our goals. So we may not even have a goal. Uh, of our own, we may have a goal thrust upon us by society. So the truth is, uh, do you really have a goal and what is your goal? And goal has to be very clear, right? So I want to reduce weight, I want to be rich are not goals. These are more of uh, statements which you made uh, in uh, made in the air. Uh, for example, if I am very clear that I want to lose weight, uh, then the most important thing is uh, whenever something uh, very tempting food is offered, which will be uh, like uh, like my friend says, 30 seconds on the lips and uh, 30 years on the hips kind of food, uh, you have to say no. But that short term pleasure uh, takes away that ability to say no. So that means that it is one of the uh, 38 goals that you have and this could be ranking 37 saying I want to lose weight, you are not serious about it. Or to say, I want to be rich, that's too vague, right? I want 5 crores, I want 5 lakhs, I want 50,000, whatever, whatever is your goal, it has to be articulated much better for it to work. For example, if you say you want to lose weight, you say something like, I want to lose 12 kg weight uh, in one, next one year, which means every week I have to, every month I have to lose 1 kilo. So every ma every week I have to lose 250 grams. No, it is not going to happen that way. You will have a, maybe you will join a gym, maybe you will go on a diet, maybe you will follow it very strictly. But if you do not measure it, if you do not see whether you are going in the right direction, then you are going to be in for some nasty surprise sometime in uh, October, November saying, oh shit, I am nowhere near what I thought I should be doing. So typically what you should be doing is perhaps measuring it on a weekly basis. So first week you lost 250 grams, so you were very happy. Second week you lost 250 grams, you were very happy. Third week you ended up putting on 18, uh, 80 grams or 100 grams, right? You actually instead of losing 250, you gained 100 grams. What happened? Uh, you slacked, you didn't go to the gym properly, you did not eat right, you went attended a couple of marriages, there was a festive in the uh, atmosphere at home, somebody had come, brought sweets, you ate that and your weight went up. Uh, should you despair? No, the answer is you have a plan, according to the plan you should have lost 250 grams, you did not lose that, right? Uh, in fact, you went the reverse. So next month, will you lose 600 grams? It's very difficult, but it is worth making an attempt, right? Because uh, understand one thing, you did not put on all this extra 10, 20, 12 kgs or 15 kgs in one week or one month. So you can't lose it in one week or one month. It is a long term plan by changing of lifestyle, changing of diet and doing all those things. So your, uh, sorry, this I am describing the process too much, but that is exactly how your goal should be. Your investment resolution or your uh, uh, personal health resolution uh, has to be in a very detailed form. Uh, like I keep telling people with a business plan, this business plan should tell you next Monday morning on which client are you going to call. Are you going to call on a fortune uh, 100 client, fortune 500 client or are you going to call on the neighboring uh, Chaiwala, right? You should know that is what your plan helps. It's not that the plan will be achieved to the T. But when you make resolutions, please make resolutions which you are going to do it and which is going to be sustainable with your lifestyle, right? If it is not with your lifestyle, then it is not going to happen. You are going to write down these goals and after three months or four months say, oh God, I've just given up. My resolutions don't work for me, right? You never had a resolution. You had a wish statement. So if you have a resolution, make sure that the resolution is very detailed. So I want an extra, I want to create an extra income of 50,000 rupees in my, uh, in my life or five lakhs, whatever. So how is it going to come? I'm going to do the following things. I'm going to buy shares and from the shares, I'm going to get dividends, how many shares, what shares, right? I'm not saying all those details are necessary, but have realistic goals and also detail the steps that you are going to take towards it because uh, you can't wake up on 31st December and say, oh my God, I had all these uh, aims and I've done nothing. 
right on a week to week basis that's how companies operate right every week every month they meet and say oh this is what we thought this will happen this has not happened uh, the sales people come up and say oh we thought we will open these uh, 12 customers we have ended up opening only eight this customer we thought would buy 200000 rupees worth of stuff is bought only 50000 worth of stuff we also realize that our software which we thought we will be able to sell it at 4 and 1/2 lakhs per piece is selling only at 3 lakhs 75000 and they want the next year amc free right so you will come up with all these things that is how a corporate works and that is exactly how your resolutions will work you have to be i i think it's worthwhile having one or two resolutions with detailed steps and saying these are my resolutions and this is what i want achieved once you have that in place and you think it is a reasonably good uh, goal to have and it is in your head your head is accepted that this is a goal which they it can do because if you set a unrealistic goal and the body starts uh, or the mind starts laughing at the goal you will never be able to achieve it so don't joke about oh hoga to kar lenge then the body understands that the brain does not understand the that it was a subtle message it was sarcasm it doesn't understand all that it says oh the, um, some part of the body says oh uh, the brain says it does not want this so it will not work in your favor right so when you want to run fast you tell your legs you tell your brain you tell your whole body that look we have to run fast this is what we have to achieve and therefore you cheat the body by uh, uh, sipping water or just gargling the water and throwing it out eating small pieces of dates so you send a message to the brain look i am not in some panic situation i am not running where i don't get food i don't get water i am getting it i'm still running so please power my legs this message is messaging is very important to your own body first and then only the outside world so when you are making resolution make sure that you think of all this by uh, and then go and uh, achieve them so your goals uh, are much better off if it is uh, like your business plan it has to be more process oriented so tomorrow morning or say on a monday morning when you wake up uh, you want to know what your accountant should be doing what your salesman should be doing what your factory should be doing right all that should be detailed and that's how your resolution should be what changes are you willing to make in life to achieve that particular goal what are the processes involved what is the input that you are going to give because of which the output will come so saying i want to become a better runner is a good one but to say that i la- uh, ran the last half marathon in 2 hours 30 minutes now i want to run it in 2 hours 10 minutes so you say okay the 20 minute reduction means about in 21 kilometers it is a reducing 1 minute per kilometer is it possible can you do it should you work on your uh, slow twitch muscles should you work on your fast twitch muscles do you need to get a coach are you realistic about this are you willing to run 3 days a week are you willing to go to the gym and uh, improve your leg strength and when, from where did you get this target of 210 why not 25 why not uh, 220 what is, what are you going to do and what will be the uh, targets that you have like you, you start this resolutions in january uh, that itself is because uh, somehow we got into our head maybe something from some bethlehem story i have no clue uh, because of which we start everything on the on 1st of january fine i mean i'm not getting into that should be start on 1st of january or 15th of april or on your birthday it could be any day the day you wake up with a goal that you want to achieve and you have the steps that's your 1st of jan doesn't really matter but let us assume it's a new year resolution then you have the detailed steps do you really want to run faster or is it because you're part of a running group where everybody thinks running faster is very important but maybe you're 55 years of age or 52 years of age you've never run since school or college and you're very happy with 230 right so then why should you push yourself for 20 or 210 or 25 or whatever don't you say i want a, a injury free run for the rest of my life i'm 55 so if i live till 75 or 80 i want to be able to walk till uh, walk at the last stages and i want to be able to run <coughs> sorry till i am 72 or 75 or i mean there were people who were running till the age of uh, at the age of 105 so at, so your target could be very different from the group target so is this the target which is fixed by society or is it the target which is fixed by you see why that is the, that is this target then make sure that your whole body works towards it 
take a coach join a gym do everything that is necessary and say every month i will want the timing to improve so every month i will run one half marathon the fourth sunday of every month i will run a half marathon so in january i want to come down from 2 uh, 230 to 228 from 228 to 226 i will keep those yardsticks or i will do 10k run and in my 10k run i will estimate and then i know i have to double it and add 10 minutes to how much i think i will do in the final race so keep for yourself this target measure it buy a watch which will measure it uh, download the data and then see how you are doing right if you don't want to do any of these things and you want to be a uh runner for entertainment purposes be like me this perfectly all right you don't have to uh, set a target and win a medal or you know any of those things you're not not anyway going to get into the podium or if you want to get into the podium then the preparation is completely different right then you're not an amateur runner you want to be very good you have to be uh, you are you're sure making sure that your diet your uh, body muscles and your bone strength everything is in line so that you don't lose time to injury write down all those things when you make resolutions like this whether it is financial resolution saying i want to accumulate 5 crores or whether it is a physical resolution health wise resolution write down the details so that monday morning you know what to do and create an atmosphere around you where everybody is uh, in line with what you are doing if your spouse does not want you running and she says oh you are completely disturbing the social life she has a point so maybe one sunday in a month is uh, dedicated to her and not to your long run so find out all that create that whole atmosphere and then say i have this resolution i want to improve my timing by 20 minutes and for that i will do the following this is my coach this is my gym this is my swimming pool which i am going to join blah 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 write down this is the nutrition plan you know have everything ready and then your resolution will work to just say i want to be a better runner better runner means what from 230 moving to 229 is definitely a better runner is that what you are targeting right so understand your goal why you have that goal is it your goal or society's goal uh find out all this the will it really give you pleasure if you achieve that once you have that have the process in place and say this is my new year resolution not uh, not just say oh, i want to lose weight right that doesn't work thank you